Meteorologist has to be the easiest job in the world. Just keep predicting no meteors will hit us, and the first time you're wrong, everyone's dead anyways. I don't think they know what meteorologists do. All they did was read the name. Whoosh! Welcome everybody back. I'm Frosted Fricks, and we're going to be reading over these uh, whooshes today. These are This is a new sub form, the R Whoosh column. This is a subreddit where we're going to be reading over the whooshes of the world. The whoosh is pretty much essentially someone tells a sarcastic statement inside something and they people just don't get the joke. And it happens way too much here. Um, God, I think you need to patch life again. We found a bug. Yeah, unfortunately, since this concept was invented centuries ago, a perpetual motion machine doesn't work and never has. Water can't push uphill. Sorry to burst your bubble. Do you not see the joke? Of course he knows. 90% of commenters believe this. Just read. It's pretty sad how dumb people are getting. Pretty sure those 90% you're talking about are joking as well, but fair enough. The commenter mocks God in other videos. They were serious and seriously dumb. They were joking, which is quite clear if you get your head out of your ass. The fact that you really care what I say is hilarious. Are you joking or are you serious? Because I don't care what your opinion is without this person saying it's a joke making fun of the video and not God, it's clear. Uh, okay, dude. Yeah! The whole point of a joke is not pointing out that it's a joke. That's the joke. I don't know if they know what jokes are. Unless it was a reverse whoosh. For example, The problem with quotes on the internet is that they often are not true. Abraham Lincoln. Get off Reddit! We're watching a play! John Wilkes Booth. How can that be if the internet came out after Abraham Lincoln died? You idiot. Whoosh. Reverse whoosh. Ooh, got him. Got him. Sneezes. As a deaf person, I must thank you for putting these subtitles on the video. If you're deaf, how can you see what you're typing? Uh, not seeing is being blind. Clearly. Clearly, because he obviously took the time to write the sentence in capitals and lower cases to be sarcastic. I don't think there's a better way to like show sarcasm on the internet without intentionally making capitals and lower cases. Having fun in Italy. Hashtag pizza. That's London and you're pushing Big Ben. I mean, it's clearly a trap and you walked into it. You're the reason we all die in the future. I'm just saying, I'm putting that out there. You are what gonna make, you're gonna press the wrong button and the world just explodes, and it's your fault because someone says, Oh, that button doesn't blow up the world, all sarcastic, and you're like, No, bullshit, it does, and then you just press it and the world explodes. Why does the drummer look like the vocalist for Foo Fighters? It's because that is the singer of Foo Fighters. It's Dave Grohl. Yeah. No shit. H is having a penis fun? Well, it has its ups and downs. Sometimes it's a little hard. It's a pain in the ass. Oh, Jesus, fuck guys, come on! Lemo! I don't get it. I heard its roommates are a little nuts and it hangs out with a real asshole sometimes too. They made the video game before I actually knew how to skate, so I was basically forced to learning how to do it. This is not true. Besides watching anime, I like watching Marvel movies, and I discovered one big flaw. They always put this old random dude in almost every movie, like how no one noticed that. I think he's going to be the main villain in the next Marvel movie or so. What do you guys think? Here's the worst part. This thing is posted. Our facepalm. Welcome to our whoosh, my friend. Selling Skull Trooper, 100% legit. Looking for 20,000 V-Bucks and mom's credit card details. LOL, you're so stupid. That doesn't even look like the Skull Trooper. Try harder, scammer. One, you can't sell the skins. Two, two, two. He's asking for your mom's credit card number. I think, just, just maybe, just maybe, he might not be being serious about this sale. Call it a hunch! Call it a hunch, but I think this might be a joke. My boyfriend made a promise to be that we would visit Paris and lock a padlock to this very bridge, throwing away the key. 
a symbolic gesture of our love and commitment. He is my soul, my life, my reason for fighting. That's Australia! He's got a little picture of the Sydney Opera House in the background. We talked to Australia. But Gero looks beautiful! Is he Wakandan? No, he's a Black Panther. I just... Here we go. I got a little picture of white rice and another box of white rice. Huh. Similar but different. The plate on the right is thicker and there aren't any purple onions on it either. To me, the right plate looks like a paper plate. I'd go with the left. Wild stab in the dark, but I'm willing to bet they are both made of cardboard. The left one, deaf, looks superior. Right side is generic knockoff. Really because of the plate, but the box isn't selling the plate, it's selling the rice. This whole photo thing could even be intentional from one of the companies to show that you might mistake their rice for the more expensive brand. If we're buying based off of things not related to actual quality of the rice, we should at least use something like cost or perhaps a moral choice would also make sense. Though I'm curious if using the wrong plate is a moral issue. Quick Google search tells me that the food club rice is someplace sells for $1.99 if you have a membership card with that store, while the minute rice sells for $2 without a membership. This tells me that some random store, it'll be a toss-up on what one is cheaper. Finally, this photo is old because the current boxes for minute rice claim that they have a 14 ounces in them. I... I, what? They did the math? Yes. Dude, don't take it so seriously. That moment when you're trying to sound smart, but you just come off pretentious in the end. I can't believe someone takes the time to try to prove they're right by writing a, like, paragraph and a half of the history of rice, specifically that brand. There, there, there's got to be a point in time where you got to go, am I coming off as too pretentious? Within that process might segue us into the next, our subreddit category for next time. Maybe you guys can guess what it is. Tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below. I like to see new funky fresh faces here every now and then. So don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget that subscribe button. And also don't forget to ding that little bell button because YouTube has this little, uh, little thing where it doesn't like telling people when I upload. So go ahead and check that out too. Give me a little tickle. And thank you guys very much for watching and thank you very much for following along. And as usual, as always, my friends, stay frosty and game on.